Oh, hi guys! This is Kyan Christian 90 with Let's Play Infamous! In the last episode, we got through with Trish's request and got a drawbridge down, which you can actually see in the far corner off there. So yeah, we got this little thing set up. In this episode, you know, reloading has actually put me right next to this new side mission, Street Fight. So, let's go ahead and knock that out of the park because it's this the only one... Time. No. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do this. The Reapers and Dustmen are throwing down over there! Yeah, rocket launch is next to our gas station. Doesn't exactly sound safe. I should be careful. I don't want to blow it up accidentally. Oh! Well then, that was a thing. Oh, also, we have a new enemy. I don't think... They were supposed to be probably introduced. I may have uh, done things out of order now. But, um... Okay, you're... Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So, one thing you can do about this particular side mission is you can kind of let them go at it for a little bit. And hopefully they'll pick each other off. You can see they're kind of doing a good job at it. But, uh... Alright, I'm probably gonna have to take out the conduit for the Dustmen. Because that's the one responsible for making these little spider things. Oh. Well, so much for that! <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to be a little bit more, you know, forward now. Also, Zeke didn't pop up on the telephone. That does, that does not please me. Because I remember during, um, when I actually first did the, uh, the poll for the LP, I actually showed what happened when you exploded a gas station. Zeke actually called and he had that funny little conversation. I'm surprised it didn't happen then. Oh well. I guess, well, there are more gas stations that can always blow up. <laughs> As if the gas prices weren't expensive enough already. I mean, if you, like, if you take a look at the gas prices inside the city- Wow, there's a lot of you. Like, the gas prices are, like, over $8. That's, like, European- That's, like, even beyond European standards. Oh. Well, that, did, that didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Alright, this- I gotta get rid of these guys. I gotta get rid of you. Okay, Conduit's dead. And that killed all the yellow things with it, too. Of course, there's a Reaper Conduit now. Who's now dead? <laughs> Alright, who's still shooting at me? This guy's on the roof. Oop. Alright, well, I kind of glanced that. Alright, come on out. Alright, I don't think- Oh, no, you are the guy. Okay. Climbed up a little bit. But anyways, that's safe. So now that medical clinic's no longer gonna be threatened by any enemies. Uh, you guys are gonna be annoying. So I'm just gonna go. Because, well, like I just said, that was pretty much the only side mission allotted to us for completing Trish's mission. So now we're just gonna book it get some induction of grinding going so I can get my health back. And we're gonna go straight to Zeke's request. Which is on the other side of town. Heh. You know, I might consider to start cutting out these little adventures because sometimes some of these missions can just be like literally on the other side of the town or the city or whatever. Oh, gotta get... change tracks here. No, get off the train. Yeah, the trains aren't active yet. There'll be a side mission, I believe, later on where we actually a reactivate the trains. Although, you were kind of wondering why you would want to do that. But, anyways, it's over here, so... This is Static Thruster our way over here, and... Get shot at again! I don't know who's shooting at me. I'm just gonna start the mission. No, don't crap anything. Dwight's dead, Zeke. Someone really messed him up. Well, we found him! Oh, man! <laughs> His sister's gonna when I tell her that. Well, hell, you should find the guys who did it. I could play off that angle, maybe. Come on, man, I need this. There is something deeply wrong with you, Zeke. I couldn't have said it better myself. Anyways, we're gonna do this little mind meld thing again. What the hell? No, stay away from me! Yeah, here's where we get properly introduced to the Dustman conduit. Yeah. Hard to make out. 
Looked like a man and a dog or something. Dwight was killed by a dog? Damn. I had a cousin that went the same way. <laughs> Whew. I shouldn't have had an open casket, but old Smitty wanted one. People were passing out, puking, uh, you name it. It was horrible. Uh... Still haven't recovered from that one. So wait, did the dog attack him while he was in the casket? <laughs> or worse, <laughs> did he start... <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. Anyways, uh, he's gonna pause. Come on, get going again. So yeah, this guy's really big. I have to notice that. He's so, he's really fat. <laughs> fat to mall. Oh, oh. hello. It's great what you're doing. The way you're cleaning up this place. What are those posters supposed to be for? Just trying some out, you know? Spreading word about you, what you're doing. Which one do you like? <clears throat> Since this guy is so a rather obvious karma moment, moment here. To decide how people should view me. Do I want them to love me or fear me? Honestly, the love one kind of looks like communism, but well, we're gonna be a dirty commie. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All I have to say, the evil one definitely looks cool. I like that one. Right on. I'll print up more of those and start hanging them all over the city. It's gonna be awesome. Zeke is never gonna believe this one. I don't know. There are already a ton of posters all around the place, but yeah. Slightly unnecessary break there, I have to admit. Um, okay, sudden fire. That's not good. And here we get introduced to those little things. You gotta be kidding me. I don't really know what you call them, but they're very easy to kill, so, I mean, it's not like it really matters. Oh, more fire. Oh, th there you guys are. I mean, they're really easy to kill, but if you get sworn by them, then you can easily get killed off, so... Well, I wouldn't say easily, but it still will hurt a lot, so... Yeah. Anyways, let's get rid of these guys so we can continue. I actually think I got him, yeah. Alright, so let's hold this guy before he gets out of my sight, which he just did. Okay, there he is. Alright, this one we do get ambushed on. Any luck? Not yet. Dealing with some crab things that are running all over the place. I think the transients are making them from old parts. Well, keep looking, man. Gotta find that trash yeah, bag. Get some energy. Oh, explodey guys. Oh, and RPG guys, too. Okay. That sorted itself out pretty nicely. There we go. I thought there was one more guy. Alright, where's our guy? Oh, he's right in front of me. Do 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 do. This, uh, nah. I'll save that for later. What? Oh, okay, there he is. Darn, this guy's going quite a distance. Right, is that it? Yeah, that looks like it. Alright. Uh, smoke's not helping. There we go. There we go. Simple, simple as that. Now we, this has to be ending soon. I mean, come on. We've walked quite a distance now. Oh, there he is. So yeah, our proper introduction to the Dustman Conduit. He basically is able to summon. He, he has both a rocket launcher and is able to summon the little crab things. So, he is a little bit more annoying than the Reaper one, I'll, I'll have to admit. Because, I mean, the Reaper one had that shockwave attack, but hey, all he had was a gun, so... And just so we're clear, this was a one-time deal. I'm not doing this to help you score. Hey, I hear you, brother. I owe you a big one. Yeah. So that's the mission. Relatively simple compared to Trish's. But, uh, hey, anyways. You still yep. Yeah, see you in a bit. Alright, I guess that's our cue to go back to Zeke's house. So that, that means. Whoa. That was weird. Yeah, we're not gonna put up with that. Oh, jeez. What, what's up with these guys? Come on. Leave me alone. There we go. Alright, so yeah, I believe that's our cue to go back to Zeke's roof and end off the day. So, well, let me confirm that. Yep, alright. 
Well, I guess I'll see you in a bit, guys. I'll probably cut out this next part here. Hi, Zeke. This superhero racket is great, man. Solving crimes, getting some loving from the ladies. I can get used to living like this. You're not actually a superhero, Zeke. Hell, hell, I know that. But it doesn't change the fact that I've had a taste of good life. Having these powers isn't exactly a walk in the park. Are you crazy? People around here, they worship you, man. A fat lot of good it's done me. Oh, crap. I gotta go. Dwight's sister is hot and ready to go. If you know what I mean. <laughs> With that, we have our transition. Great, good. I sell them the same man. The day 17. Like it really matters at this hey, point. Moya, I'm making a run on the next substation. <laughs> its location is flagged on your GPS. I'm also tracking a couple new developments. I'll be in touch once the power is back on. Alright, so is that the only thing we have to do? Yes, it is! Playing hero. Alright, so let's get our butt over there, I guess. Like oh, this, we have to make them. We have so, uh, to. Oh. Black sister just took off. Man, it was a disaster. What? I thought you were golden. <sighs> One treat treat right, you know. Show her a good time, let things simmer a bit. Any old engine can land one nighter. I want something more. Like what you and Trish had. Well, anyway, she comes over and says she can only stay a minute or two and starts talking about, Whoa. Uh, I don't know how she really is that? me, but she sees me as a friend. I'll always be your friend, Zeke. She actually said that to me. Ouch. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now time to go heading, I guess. Because I have a, still a bit of walking to do. Alright, so we're about here. So now I guess I can start talking again. That was actually a little bit of time, so... Eh. Nope. Oh, okay. And I see Dwight's sister hanging on some guy's arm. She didn't even look at me. Sorry, man. I should have known better. She's always been like that. That's no biggie, though. Freeze me up to play the field. See what else is out there. Catch you later. So note one, whore. Note two, new power. Let's see. Oh, and say hello to Rocket Launcher of Power. I forget what they call it, though. I think it's something pretty cool. Megawatt Hammer. Yeah, there we go. That sounds like an ability that could hurt. So line it up and press triangle instead. And it'll shoot that rather impressive shot. And did we down him? No, we didn't. Alright. Yeah, let's just get up there. There we go. Yeah, see, that's severely weakened him. But yeah, it's, it's it's essentially a rocket launcher. That's really all it is. But, um, I mean, it has its uses. It can definitely uh, do great crowd control if you, you know, get them all right next to each other. Then again, the grenades can too, so. But, uh, well, it does... Yeah, that guy has a shield. I believe it does blow away the shields too. Yeah, see, like, it does so much force, it knocks away the shield and knocks them off the thing, too. So it has its uses. Oh, shoot. No. can't believe I missed that. That was weird. Alright, well, hopefully it's not too much of a hassle to get back up to where we were. Oop. Hello. Oh, that was horrible miss. There we go. Luckily, there's a thing right here to recharge. Because, yeah, if you didn't already guess, this thing can consume... Well, it doesn't consume that much power. It was like two battery cores just now. So, I guess it's not bad, but it's very easy to spam. So, you know, it's just... Yeah, it's, it's another tool in your little belt. Also, there's another use right there. As you can see, these guys are hiding behind gates now, and we can't zap through gates. But, the megaton, ha uh, megawatt hammer can just blast him right off the cliff, so... So yeah, there you go. 
once again, the sewer kind of showing us how our abilities work, how useful they can be, etc., etc. I think we got him. Yep, yeah, we got him. Kind of a delayed reaction there, but we got him. We got him too. <laughs> Uh, this can be so fun. This is this is the point of the game where like you start becoming like a real superhero. Like, oh, hello. My turn. That didn't kill him. Ah, this isn't working. All right, looks like. Oh, is that him? Yeah, that was him! Huh! How'd he get over there? Strange dust man. Silly dust man, what are you doing there? Alright, and here's the transformer right- Oh, that was way high. There we go. Sticky bomb. Alright, so that's about it. And, um, that- Looking at the time, that's probably gonna be the end of the video, too, because... I mean, we're pretty much done. Well, with this anyways. So, I forget. There's either one more substation or we've just powered the rest of the Warren. I can't remember. Anyways, we got our little mission complete. And probably someone's gonna talk to us. We have two new story missions though, it looks like. reports of unauthorized drones patrolling the Warren. Since they're not ours, you should look into them. It also sounds like the dust men are planning a quarantine break. All right. One other thing. <laughs> Tell your friend Zeke to stop calling me. If he wants to play hero and track down leads, that's his business. But I don't need to hear about it. Zeke, what the hell are you doing? Who knows, but that's going to be it. Yeah, there's one more substation, darn. All right, so in the next episode of Let's Play Infamous, we're going to take on these side missions, satellite uplinks, L-Train, <laughs> and more satellite uplinks. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Another walk the dogs. Till then, I'll see you guys later.